so uh, my name is Trevor Graham. I'm a junior uh, and I'm studying East Asian languages and cultures. I guess like most people, it was started with like, um, like the video games and the anime and stuff like that. Uh, although also, I guess it was mostly like music for me. Things like, um, like a band called Boris is one of them. Uh, and other, other bands, like really popular bands like Radwimp and, uh, and mostly like rock music for like pop artists. I like, I like, uh, like Seiko Mori. So I was introduced to Japan House through the uh, Matsuri in my freshman year. And uh, I went with my roommate and some friends and it was like really, really fun. And I think they had like a band from Japan performed it and it was really cool. We had like a really fun time and I don't know, it was, I think it'd be really cool to be able to like be a part of the like, the organization that like hosts things like that. I think that was really cool. And then I also, um, I attended a tea ceremony. I think it was also my freshman year. And I don't know, it made me realize like, even though I'm studying like Japanese and stuff, I don't really, I feel like I don't, there's so much I can still learn about Japan. And I think this uh, working with Japan House would be like a way for me to, to like really dive into it. Uh, I guess they would say, I, I mean, I don't really, um, I don't really like get too like uh, overexcited about things. Like I try to be like really calm and uh, like composed. And so like, uh, I don't know, they, they would like probably say I'm like the quiet one. Um, so I, like I said, I listen to a lot of music. I'm like, I'm like always listening to music if I'm not in like class or work or, um, something like that. Um, besides that, uh, like I play video games and watch anime and stuff with my friends and, um, I play the guitar, although I, I'm not like that good at it. I used to be like way better than I am now, but I, it's always fun. I think it'd be cool to learn more instruments too, maybe if I have time. Uh, I, so I would play like, I want to play the violin maybe or the cello. So it's like, I know it's not like guitar, but it's, it's like, I feel like maybe like the, it would be easier to learn than other instruments. And I, I just love the sound of like the violin, the strings and stuff like that. Or a piano. The piano is like it's in, used in like all like music everywhere. So I think it'd be, um, I think it'd be the most useful to learn. Uh, I'm not really sure yet, but I think I'm gonna try to apply for the Jet program and teach English in Japan, and then. When I get like really good enough, maybe I think I think it'd be nice to be a translator because uh, I think if I could like if I could help other people like me like um, get like be able to read things or watch things and stuff that from Japan that, that like uh, or listen to things anything like that I like uh, I think it would be awesome to like help people like me be able to understand that stuff and then like be inspired by it like I have been. Uh, my, my mind first went to, uh, so on the music theme, I was in a, like a band, I guess you could say with my brothers. And uh, I don't know, it was, uh, I think it was like, it was a very formative experience for me and like being able to to like talk in front of people and like and make connections with people because like once I was able to like sing in front of people I think it made the talking to people and like sharing my experiences with other people like a lot less uh scary I guess and it, it was just it was one of the best things ever was performing in front of people and uh 
making them excited is it's just it's a it's a it's a I don't know it's it's hard to describe it's very um, unique. I have a twin brother who would play bass and then I play guitar and then my older brother plays the drums and then yeah <laughs> that was it. <laughs> <laughs>